We're gonna have to make some decisions on what we're doing with the cows when they come home based on how much water we have and how much feed we have. So we're gonna do a little bit of an inventory here and see just how much water we're gonna have available. And uh, so we got some idea of what we're doing this winter. So it was a long time ago, uh, we did a, a water registry and I think that was before we even had this dugout through the government. We measured everything and did all that, but it was so long ago and things have probably silted in. So I'm going to take some measurements. This is our newest dugout. It's right dry, so obviously we don't have to figure out how much water is in it. But I'd like to know how deep it is now that it's empty and take a few measurements so I know how much it holds. And then I'll go look at our big one and uh, take some measurements on it and try and figure out how much water is in it and uh one other one we're going to look at today so i'll get my measure out here and try and figure out what's going on with this one That's about 150 by 50. Now we gotta measure the depth. So I just had to take some measurements and do some averaging. It looks like it averaged about six feet deep. It's uh, kind of sumped towards this end and shallower at the other, but we'll take the average absolutely full at an average of six feet of depth. And we'll do the math on that when we get to the house. So this is our, our bigger dugout. Um, it's getting pretty empty and the water and it's kind of getting a little bit on the yucky side. So we're going to use this water. We may have to try and aerate it and see if we can improve on it. But I'm going to take some measurements to see if there's even enough here to bother with or whether we should just uh, abandon it and wait for it to fill rather than mess around with it. So I'll get my measuring stick. So that's uh, 160 by 70 at the water level. And this thing was 15 feet deep when it was new. So I'll see if I can figure out how much depth we've got left there. So as best as I could figure with using my <laughs> weight on a piece of bale and twine and throwing it in and measure, and I think we've only got about two and a half feet of water in here on average. So that's kind of disappointing, but that's what there is. We'll go check out our last dugout and see what's in it. So I'm down at our last dugout here. See all this green stuff on it? It's actually duckweed, which is okay. It's a, it's a healthy plant. It kind of plugs up your intakes when you're trying to suck water out of it, but it's not, uh, it's not really harmful. We have had a lot more duckweed on this than uh, there is right now. Lots and lots more. There's just a little bit on it. Water's kind of murky. Uh, it smells good. And there's a whole bunch of bees down here because our uh, the guy that keeps our bees, uh, his hives are just, oh, maybe six, seven hundred yards away. The bees come here for their water. There's been no cows in here for quite some time. This is one of our older dugouts and it's fairly deep, but it's not all that big. So I'll measure it off and check the depth and see what's here. I'll crouch down here, try and get out of the wind. It's about uh, four feet in depth 
as best as I can tell, which is uh, twice as deep almost as that other one. Water certainly smells nicer and is in better shape, but uh, probably not where anywhere near as much of it. But, uh, I'll just stand up here and get a better shot of the dugout. It might get windy. So, yeah, it's only 20, 25 feet by about 110 on the length at the water level, this one. So after doing some math, I'm back at our big dugout. It's only two and a half feet deep. There is more water in that two and a half feet of big dugout than there is in our whole new one when it's full by about 10,000 imperial gallons, which is kind of hard to wrap your head around. So our cows in the wintertime, well, fall, are going to be drinking about 3,000 gallons a day. So if they could drink 100% of this water, which is, yeah, that's not going to happen. But if they could, that would give us 49 days worth of water here. Um, I think if we can improve the water quality, I think we could safely go with 30 days if we can improve the quality here. And the, uh, the stuff at that other dugout down east that we measured... Uh, it's a lot nicer water, but uh, there isn't nearly as much of it. I figured we could only get about six days out of that dugout down there if we pumped it dry. So uh, we're going to try and oxygenate this water and see if we can improve the quality. And uh, maybe it'll be an option that we can use. But uh, I haven't done this before, so we don't have an aerator. I'm just going to hook the fire hose up to the, to the pump and we're going to... Just pump some water through the fire hose and spray it into the air for a few days and uh, just kind of see if we can notice any changes to the water quality over the course of a week and see if we continue doing that. So I guess that's what we'll do.